Uh, hello, uh, YouTubers, bloggers, vloggers, and people alike. Um, I just have to make this post real quick about why I think uh, uh, Trayvon and Zimmerman messed up. They both did. Um, first off, um, if you don't know what's going on, basically what's going on is a black kid, Trayvon, uh, took a shortcut through a gated community. And we have a neighborhood watch guy running around with a gun. Um, that's going to detain people that walk through his neighborhood. He's just going to detain them. It doesn't matter what, what, what they're doing. If he suspects anything, he's going to detain them um, without actually bearing witness to any crimes. So if you're going to go walking anywhere, you can be detained, I guess, by citizens now. So, And I'll get into that a little bit more. Um, okay, so anyways, this is uh, how I know what I know. I was a security guard for my wife's work, um, and I... Uh, caught three people trying to uh, break it into the office and the uh, laundry mat. Long story short, um, I ended up chasing them down. And I caught them. I didn't have any uh, any uh, firearms or anything else on me. I just had me and my, uh, and my car. And what happened was uh, I got a call at 3 o'clock in the morning that there's some uh, activity going on outside. I said, okay, I'll just go check it out. It's probably nothing. Um, so I get out there, and I get out of the car, and I go up into the laundromat, and I can say, oh, man, okay, yeah, we, uh, the laundromat has been broken into. Um, now, at this point, I had no idea that the office was broken into, so I was like, okay, well, I gotta go, uh, wake up the wife and tell her what's going on. But as I'm leaving, I see, like, uh, two guys running, and it looked like they had bags, but I didn't know what they had. I mean, they could know that maybe, uh, something was broken into in the office, uh, or, or the laundromat, but didn't want to get blamed for it, so they took off. I don't know. Um... But I did pursue them. Um, I took off around the back, and it's like a little U like that. And I, I hopped in my car, and I drove around. I didn't see anybody, so I came back around. And as I come around, I see taillights taken off. So first thing I know, I, I'm on the phone. Do, 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 do. Okay, with the police. Okay, yeah, I'd like to report um, that uh, we have a break-in. And I think that I'm uh, following the uh, suspects. Okay. Um, and, and they're like, well, are you sure? I said, I'm not sure. But um, I, there's three. There's it looks like three kids in the back uh, in a car, um, and it looks kind of loaded. I don't know. Um, we just had it. I'm just gonna follow them. You guys can pull them over, and if it if it's them, then we got them. Okay, so um, I'm taking off, you know, and uh, they're taking off too, and then they notice me following them, and uh, so 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 we take down the down the street, and it was never like a high speed chase or anything. It was more like I freaked them out because oh oh shit. <laughs> I'm ready to do five to ten years in prison because I'm just Robin's uh, breaking and entering, you know. And that was more of the reaction. And after they noticed that I was following them down every street, and I was on the phone with the cops, I was like, "Yeah, we're going down this street southbound. Yeah, we're going west on this street." And sure as shit, within like uh, ten minutes of, of ducking down the streets, uh, the police actually uh, caught up with me. Now the the, the suspects or the people who was robbing the house actually. Uh, have your health insurance rates gone up? Have you been turned down by other insurance companies? Can't afford COBRA? Have your health benefits been canceled? Been misled discount plan or other low-cost plans? With Fidelity Health Plans, you can have health insurance you can actually afford. Thousands of dollars a year. This is real insurance, a discount plan. And you are guaranteed insurance rates gone up. Fidelity Health Plans are underwritten by AM Best Rated Insurance Companies. And your coverage includes a discount plan. Insurance rates gone up. Been misled down health benefits been canceled thousands of dollars a year this is a call you must make now and you'll receive this free prescription card a 50 dollars value as our gift to you so don't wait call the number on your screen for free information about affordable health insurance with guaranteed acceptance from around thousands of dollars a year a discount plan call now wait a minute. okay i i you know brief uh minute minute of uh commercial break but right, anyways um, I was behind these guys. Um, it never got fast, but I knew that they knew that I was on them. So I don't know why they did it, but they tucked into a, like a church, um, uh, a church. And uh, after they knew I was on them, they actually uh, went over the church uh, uh, grass and they spun out on it. And uh, then they all bailed because then they saw the cops coming um, the other way. And as soon as they bailed, they all ran, and then they threw their uh, their roll of quarters at my car and just kept throwing all kinds of stuff as they were running. I mean, they were pissed off that I caught them. And, uh, and so the cops pulled up. They got the canines out, um, you know, and then, you know, I got them. 
but I use the help of the officers to do the hard work to do their job. It's not my job to do anything but sit there and watch. That's all you can do. Okay, now the police uh, did tell me that um, I cannot stop anybody for and ask for their ID because I'm not an officer. I was a security guard. It doesn't matter if you're uh, uh, a civilian, security guard, you can't do that. You can't not stop anybody, you cannot ask them for their ID, and you cannot detain anybody. It does not matter, unless the, the, they're harming somebody else or committing a crime that's obvious in plain point view. You can't. Otherwise, it's called kidnapping. And so Zimmerman should be charged with kidnapping and murder for his actions. And he should attend a class of maybe security card neighborhood watch um, for this. Because, uh, yeah, Zimmerman probably freaked out the kid and the kid was fighting back, probably thinking that the guy's going to probably rape him or something. You never know. But um, that's my thoughts on this whole Zimmerman Trayvon thing. The president says something about it, uh, all the way to the Jesus loving people and the Catholic Pope and all those people. They all have to say something about this. So I'm like, okay, if everybody's getting into this and they're, they're still not arresting this guy, what's up? What's up with this whole situation? Because now it's more over a gun control thing. And that's where they're starting to focus in on that. Oh, well, Bush uh, wrote the uh, stand your ground law. Yeah, that's stand your ground, not take your ground over to other people's ground and, and follow them down and shoot them because you're putting your risk uh, yourself at risk on their ground. You know, especially to somebody that has no an unarmed man. Uh, so that's my thoughts on it. Uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts. That's where I think that they should... Uh, Go and put the cuffs on this guy and charge him, uh, what is it, like two, two to ten to life, I think. If you miss, uh, if you miss, if you discharge your, your weapon in Florida, if you get mad and you just shoot it, you can get like, uh, I think it's ten to twenty in, uh, in, in Florida just for that. So at least you should get ten years for at least discharging his weapon for a non, uh, for a uh, for not having a good enough reason to discharge it, other 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 than the the, the the kids trying to fight me because he thinks I'm going to kill him. Oh wait, oh I, I did kill him. Oh shit. Well, wow, fuck. So that's where um, I am with that. Um, I don't know what more I can say about that. Is that Zimmerman had no right to detain him at all. There was no right of detaining. So and that's where prosecutors should go. Um, I mean, I'm not a lawyer, but that's the law. Yeah, so, it's like saying, um, 55's the speed limit. But I'm not a lawyer, so I can't tell you that the law says that the speed limit's 55. But it's 55. Alright? It's called fuzzy math. Alright, I'm out. Later.